Yo, what is up everybody? Lagging Leland here with another video. Now for today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick Jungle Cruise review. I'm going to do a spoiler free review and then I'll do a spoiler review. I gotta be honest, I really love this movie. It is so fun to watch. All of the characters are lovable. It is action packed. It's honestly a Pirates of the Caribbean meets Indiana Jones kind of thing. It is incredible. And I've been looking around the internet, and supposedly people do not like this movie. I don't see why. If you guys liked Pirates of the Caribbean, you're definitely going to love Jungle Cruise. If you like Pirates of the Caribbean, it's literally Pirates of the Caribbean. It is amazing. I love this movie. It reminds me so much of a jungle kind of Pirates of the Caribbean. The movie has plenty of action. There's great acting. The characters are very lovable. Everything it is incredible. The special effects are great. The story is great. They throw in so many amazing things in this movie. And it is everything that I wanted to see in this movie. It's everything that I was expecting to see, I saw in it. And a lot more than that. I definitely recommend that you guys go check this out in theaters. I know there you it's on Disney Plus right now, but I definitely would recommend go watching it in theaters for the experience. It is really amazing, and I recommend you guys go check it out. It is probably my favorite movie of 2020 so far, and I really don't think anything is going to top it. Okay, guys, now that is it for the spoiler-free review, but now let's get on to the spoiler review. Again, I recommend you guys go watch the movie because it is definitely worth watching blind. Now, the first spoiler thing I want to talk about is Dwayne Johnson. In this movie, he does great acting. It's amazing. I, I love his character, Frank. He's a very lovable, charming. He's really funny, too. A lot of his jokes come from, like, puns and stuff. And usually, I don't find that very funny. But I do think that the way Dwayne Johnson delivered these puns, it, I found them hilarious, to be honest. Very playful toucans. They're playing their favorite game of beak wrestling. The only drawback is only two can play. There's two birds and those are two cans and saying there's only two can play. Not one, but two can play. You know, the point is I used to work in an orange juice factory, but I got canned. Couldn't concentrate. Yeah, they put the squeeze on me too. That's a good one. I should have opened with that one. Now, I gotta be honest, I really, I got a kick out of these jokes. They were well-timed and were just very funny. I don't know, I found them very funny and clever. Now, I did not really like his performance, not his performance, but mainly the kind of jokes in Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. I like his performance and jokes a lot better in Jungle Cruise. I feel like it's much better character, much more charming character. And he honestly reminds me of another captain, Captain Jack Sparrow. Now, supposedly, Jungle Cruise might be, like, the replacement for Pirates of the Caribbean. I really hope that's not the case. I know Disney's been putting up some crap with Johnny Depp and stuff because of what happened to him a couple years ago. But then I saw that he was going to be in Sea of Thieves or something like that. And I was thinking, wow, you know, maybe he's going to come back for a sequel. That would be amazing. And Disney's finally going to quit their crap and all that. But no, it turns out it's actually his stunt double that voices him in the new game. And that was just so disappointing. I honestly wouldn't mind if Jungle Cruise becomes like a Pirates of the Caribbean series. They make a whole bunch of movies off of it. But at the same time, I hope they don't cancel Pirates of the Caribbean. Because I feel like both of these movies have that charm to them. That adventurous charm. It kind of has this historic feeling to it as well. But it's also very funny. It's very action-packed. It's, it's also kind of gory at times. But it's still for kids in a way. You know, kids can watch it. Adults can watch it. They have this charm to them, and I really hope that Disney's not going to cancel Pirates of the Caribbean and replace it with Jungle Cruise. I kind of hope that they make both move, both series, keep moving on with both of them. Now, speaking of Pirates of the Caribbean, I love the Conquistadors. I thought they were really cool villains, antagonists. They reminded me of the monsters from Pirates of the Caribbean. And I also love how they kind of reused uh, the idea for Salazar in Pirates of the Caribbean 6. Both of them were kind of um, Spaniards that have been misunderstood and kind of wanted to avenge their deaths. Both of them were not really villains, you know. They are kind of just misunderstood or they kind of did evil things, but they was not really evil. You know, I, it's kind of hard to explain, but they were both very similar. And I love both of these villains. 
The only problem is Salazar was not very executed very well in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. But I do feel like Jungle Cruise definitely, they definitely reuse that idea and they use it the right way. Now, I can't say I actually listened to Metallica, but I know my dad does. And he really liked how they were able to use Metallica's Nothing Else Matters in the movie. There's a scene where Frank explains his backstory and his connection to the Conquistadors. It is a really cool scene, and they actually add that music over it. And I think they did that really well, and so does my dad. He thinks that they really were able to interpret that song in a really awesome way. And it was really cool because usually you have drums and tribal drums and all that kind of stuff for um, jungle theme music. But this was different. It was rock and roll. And that was kind of cool because it was a much more intense scene. It was a much more dark scene. And you don't really need the tribal drums for that. You know, you kind of need to change its pace, you know. And I think that was really cool. When the Nazi prince came, I was thinking, man, they're going to play Indiana Jones music every time he shows up. Well, guys, there's not really much else I can say. This movie was really good. It's probably my favorite movie to come out of this year. And it is just it is so funny. It's full of action. It's full of likable characters. Every character is funny, from McGregor to that Nazi guy, that Prince. Everybody was funny. Everybody was really likable. You know, I didn't get annoyed or bored with this movie at all. I thought the backstories were really good, and I would highly recommend this movie. I would say The Jungle Cruise is definitely my top pick of this year. My second favorite would probably be Space Jam, and my third favorite being Mortal Kombat. But that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and make sure you guys stay out of the jungle. So how do you enjoy this jungle? I beg your pardon? This jungle. Yeah, sorry. The jungle. Try it slower. The jungle. Could you pop it in a sentence? The trees, the, the bugs, the, the jungle. The jungle? Yes, that is what I said. Right. How do you enjoy it? It's actually rather grand on me, though. I, I don't care anymore.